I've been a fan of Dimebag Daryl since the 90s, you know. Uh, you can see his guitars right here on this picture. But I was just thinking to myself, why did Pantera break up and why did we lose Dimebag and Vinny? And I was just thinking about that. Uh, in their home video, there's the group of guys that try to confront them and say, they were trying to say, you know, something about Jesus. And I remember hearing one of the guys saying, yeah, Satan's got me by the balls. And they totally just wash out these, these Christian guys that are trying to pray for him. And throughout Pantera's career, they started throwing up these uh, pentagrams on the stage that were rotating. And Phil Anselmo started saying stuff like, Hail Lucifer and all this other stuff. And no wonder they broke up. You know, we all kind of liked them in the beginning. But towards the end of their years, it just got way dark. And uh, with Phil's problems with heroin and all that, and the, it was no surprise why they split up. You know, it just looked like you reap what you sow. And they were clearly going down the wrong path. It's unfortunate because a lot of the music was fun to listen to. Um, ultimately, Dimebag, we lost him in 2004. And uh, it's just sad, you know, Jesus talks about those who seek their life will lose it. And Vinny himself, you know, the drummer, he was like, you know, greatness comes from within and he wouldn't give God any sort of gratitude or glory or but at least that's what I've seen on camera when what he said it's just sad and now uh, Vinnie Paul's house just bulldozed it's it's nothing but uh, for musicians out there that buy into that lie that you can be famous and have everything it's it's not true Look at the role models that we had growing up and what they did and, and learn from it. You don't want to die without Jesus in your heart or in your life, in your mind, in your soul, the knowledge of him. So I, I would just encourage people to read John 17, get some understanding. But peace be with you.